Hey y'all, it's me Deja B back at it again with another video. Today I am going to be talking about what high porosity hair looks like. Now my friend actually gave me this idea after she saw um, a video, can't remember her name right now, but I will tag her um, so you guys know where I got the idea from. Um, but this girl was talking about what low porosity hair looks like. And so I just did a quick search on YouTube and I was just like, okay, what does high porosity hair look like or what high porosity hair looks like? And there's really not a video that just quickly explains what high porosity hair looks like. So we all know, well many of us know, that high porosity hair is hair that is more porous. So high porosity hair has cuticles that are more widely spaced. The cuticle layer is the layer that is made to protect the hair, but in the case of high porosity hair, your cuticle layer might not be able to do that because in the case of high porosity hair, the shingles are lifted, leaving gaps in the hair or making the hair more porous. So we know that high porosity hair can absorb moisture very very quickly but it can also leave just as quickly if the hair is not properly moisturized and that moisture is not sealed in high porosity hair does not necessarily mean damaged hair so i do want to get that out there for people who do not know that yes lifting your cuticle to add color can make your hair high porosity if it's low porosity it can make it normal porosity blah 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 but there can be parts of your hair that are not damaged or colored. My hair is not damaged in my roots. It is not colored for basically half of my hair. Now, if I stretch my hair out, half of my hair will be my normal texture and it acts generally the same way as my color treated ends. So another way that I'm gonna do, which is what the YouTuber that I saw in the video did, I am going to spray my hair with just regular water and i'm gonna see how my water reacts to the my water <laughs> my hair reacts to the water so also before i do this because this is a, this, this wash and go is still looking pretty good i'm gonna tag this wash and go in the cards and because it's bomb and bomb period so i'm gonna spray this section of my hair and we're just gonna see how it reacts to me spraying water on it. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is already deflating. And yes, my hair still does have product and I mean it's a it's like this is six maybe six or seven day wash and go but the product is still there my hair is still soft so I'm assuming the product hasn't dried out or went anywhere because my hair is still feels moisturized and it's soft so yeah now of course this water isn't completely absorbed into my hair because I literally just sprayed it on top I'm not like running water on it so I'm gonna show you a clip of me running water on my hair consistently just not even for long like a minute or less and you're gonna see how my hair reacts to warm water just immediately being run through my hair as you guys can see i am starting on dry hair i think this was i don't even know a wash ago <laughs> um so yeah, I'm just drenched, running my hair under the water. And as you can see, within a few seconds, the parts of my hair that are being directly hit by the water are deflating. It's taking in that water. And you can literally look at the time on this video, just track it. And within less than a minute, my hair is completely wet. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you know what your porosity is, if you know how to test for porosity. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Maybe try it on yourself and 
see what it does for you. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel because you know I got more content coming for you. And I will see you later. Bye.